In the 1930s, a Swiss chemist named Albert Hoffman was searching for new medicines. He worked for a pharmaceutical company called Sandoz, studying chemicals found in a fungus that grows on rye called ergot. This fungus was dangerous, but it also contained compounds that could be useful for medicine. In 1938, Hoffman created a new substance, lysergic acid diethylamide, better known as LSD-25. At first, it didn't seem important. The lab tests didn't show anything special, so the project was shelved. But something about LSD stuck in Hoffman's mind. Five years later, in 1943, he decided to study it again. That choice changed history. While handling the compound, Hoffman accidentally absorbed a tiny amount through his fingertips. As he walked home, he suddenly felt strange, dizzy, anxious, and overwhelmed by vivid colors and shifting shapes. He had no idea what was happening. Three days later, on April 19, 1943, Hoffman intentionally took a small dose to understand the effects. As the substance took hold, he began what is now known as the world's first LSD trip. Accompanied by his lab assistant, he rode his bicycle home, a moment that became legendary as Bicycle Day. What Hoffman discovered was not a medicine, but one of the most powerful psychedelic substances ever known. LSD would later spread through the 1950s and 60s, influencing psychology, art, and counterculture, sometimes in ways Hoffman never intended. Until his death at age 102, Albert Hoffman said he believed LSD could help science understand the human mind. But he also warned it should be treated with deep respect. From a forgotten chemical on a dusty shelf to one of the most influential substances of the 20th century, LSD began as an accident discovered by a scientist who never imagined what he had created. Want to make your own fascinating videos? Click the description link to get started today.